One of the benefits of growing up in a big family, access to a ton of cool toys. Today, I'm going to list 10 of the coolest toys I ever got my paws on. I'm going to exclude all video game consoles and games. We'll cover those in a future release, but for today, we'll highlight other cool toys and games. Honorable Mention Crazy Car, Scarecrow Target, Moon Wagon, Wrist Radio, Snowmobile Sled, and Portable 8-Track Player. All were prominent at different points. However, I couldn't find any video to steal for those toys, so honorable mention it is. Fast Eddie, Mattel, 1970. You hear that play? Okay, where's your boy? Where's this Fast Eddie? That's Fast Eddie? That little runs in the striped shirt? He don't look so fast. Ha, lucky shot. Hey! He shoots hard. Look at him blast them marbles. He's pretty fast. What do you pick up a game like that? Fast Eddie? It's a new marble game from Mattel. Fast Eddie was pretty straightforward. Load marbles in the back, point, and shoot. As a five-year-old, this was the pinnacle of technological achievement. Super Toe. Shopper Toys, 1975. Oh, hi, Super Jock here. Watch this, Super Toe. Still the only field goal kicker I ever liked. Yep, he did it again. Okay, the kick is from the 50. Ah, let the old pro try. Ha, ha, wouldn't you know he missed? But with the right wrap on the head, Super Toe scores again. Super Toe comes with everything you see here. Super Toe, another fun-filled Super Jock action game from Shopper. Hey! The 70s had a dirty little secret. Most of the toys did not work. One outstanding exception was Super Toe from the Super Jock series. Smash his head, and he kicks the ball, just like in real life. Sizzlers. Hot Wheels, 1970. There's something new in Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels Sizzlers are here. Underneath his gleaming hood is a built-in motor. Hot Wheels with power built right inside. Recharge the Sizzler's power cell with the juice machine. And they'll run on your Hot Wheels track for lap after lap. The Sizzler's are here. Hot Wheels with a motor built right inside. Buy any one of six cars. The juice machine or the new California 8 race set. With two Sizzler's. Track, juice machine, dual speed brake, essence, and lap counter. Get Sizzlers from Mattel. The fastest Hot Wheels cars yet. Go with a win. The success or failure of every Hot Wheels course ever constructed hinged on one thing. Gravity. No hill, no speed. That all changed when Hot Wheels released Sizzlers in 1970. Fuel them with the juice machine, Goose Machine, and let them rip. The claim was 90 seconds at the juice machine, Juice Machine, would get you five minutes of race time. In reality, it was closer to five minutes of charge, got you about 90 seconds of fun, then it was back to the juice machine to refuel. Juice Machine. Electronic Detective. Ideal, 1979. We were playing Electronic Detective, the computerized whodunit game. I had the case all figured out. Lucy was the killer, right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Lucy and Al were uptown playing cards. Lucy's prints were on the 45, but only Dina Ricchetti knew whose prints were on the 38. Now, if the 45 was uptown with Lenny Little and the 38 was downtown with Dina Ricchetti, then the killer had to be Eileen Stella. Of course. Electronic Detective from Ideal. 
essentially a digital version of the board game Clue, back before digital had any actual meaning. I recall the setup being a bit clumsy, but once you got it up and going, it was challenging and fun. Much like Clue, the score pads needed to track your killer ran out very quickly. Of course, having Agent 86 of Control endorse the game himself made this one a must-have. And loving it. Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle Ideal, 1973 this is Evil Knievel and the Evil Knievel Shock Absorbing Stunt Cycle. You can make him do wheelies, backstands, even mid-air somersaults. And for that big jump, here's Evil, up and over that four-foot ditch. Evil Knievel sold separately or with the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle from Ideal. Most lists of best toys generally include the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle, with damn good reason. This thing went fast, jumped far, and was damn near indestructible. If you were a kid in the 70s, you couldn't wait to go up and over that four-foot ditch. Gannett Gannett, Parker Brothers, 1971. Parker Brothers' new Ganip Ganop is very easy to play. You simply try to Ganip your three balls through the hoops into the other side. And the other guy tries to Ganop his three balls into your side. But while you're Ganipping, he's Ganopping. You're trying to out-Ganip him while he's trying to out-Ganop you. So Ganip down to your store and grab the new game from Parker Brothers before they're all Ganoped. From Parker Brothers, Ganip Ganop. One of the few banned toys in our household, Ganip Ganop was hours of hand-smashing, noisy-as-hell fun that lasted about three minutes. The true game was aggravating every adult within earshot, and that game we won every time. Mattel Electronic Football Mattel, 1977 Ladies and gentlemen, we challenged hotshot Dick Joukowsky to play the Mattel Electronics football game. Dick doesn't know. Inside is a tiny thinking computer that plays like a whole team of pros. Dick's got the ball, but that computer defense is tough. He drives up the middle. Stop Cole. One yard. Now Dick cuts left down the sidelines. Touchdown. Mattel Electronics pocket football with a built-in computer. Hey, who's in there? In 1977, Mattel gave us our first glimpse of gaming's future with Mattel Electronic Football. Handheld, portable, and for reasons yet undiscovered, highly addictive. Perhaps in part to the iconic endorphin-inducing touchdown reward. Battling Tops. Ideal, 1968. Ideal Battling Tops Championship. The contestants are winding their tops, getting into position, and the battle's on. Look at those tops battle for position. Watson's top is down. But it's up again. Anything can happen in Battling Tops. The Lanky's top should not live out of the arena. Watson's the winner. Champ, what's your secret? It's in the wrist axe. Battling Tops from Ideal, the good game people. No game inspired more creative and vicious smack talk than battling tops. Wind up your top, pull the string, and run that mouth. Despite being a game requiring little to no skill, every win resulted in a Trump-level explosion of bragging and degradation for the fallen. Just like real life. Tycho Rebound. Tycho, 1996. Yeah! Tycho Rebound! It does stunts no other RC can perform! Only Tycho Rebound does in your face flip and the sidewinder! Blinding speed! Incredible stunts! Battery pack sold separately. Tycho RC Maximum Heat! Tycho Rebound! RC racers were traditionally the exclusive pastime of bored fathers with cash to burn. 
The options available for kids were usually slow and boring. Until Tyco introduced the Rebound. The giant tires easily chewed up most terrain, indoors and out, while allowing the car to flip and become multi-directional when confronted with a dead end. It from the pit. Milton Bradley, 1992. It's guarding the treasure. What's it? That's it! You can't get away from it! It from the pit! The caves get from the pit. First one to the treasure wins, but watch out for it. Whoa! You can't get away the way. You can't get away from me. Play it. Papa Matic aside, board games traditionally offered very little innovation or excitement. While Christmas shopping for my son in the early 90s, I stumbled across It From The Pit. While this game also featured the tired, roll the die, move your guy style, your guy was in constant danger of being snatched up by the ever-present It From The Pit. Let me hear in the comments about any unusual toys you grew up with. And as always, Thanks for watching our crap. Shark Toe Studios. The power brokers of mediocre. Juice Machine.